Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. And I mean, the comments on the last video were completely crazy, man. Oh, my days. I've seen so many people be angry with their XRP holdings and stuff like that. And all I can say is, man, if you're a longer term holder, see this as a freaking Christmas discount. That's at least the way that I see it. But having said that, guys, we are giving away $100 worth of XRP or when any crypto you want, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is make sure you press the like button, make sure you are subscribed, and make sure you comment something down below. All right, that is all that you need to do. Then I'm also talking a little bit more often here about GSX, and the main reason I'm doing that is because I put my own money in it. I've actually bought a couple thousand dollars worth of these coins and the main reason is I want to try some different investment tactics. And right now, I'm really into going for some newer coins or some kind of crazier projects with some crazy high ROI if, if we get there. And the thing is, this is a growth coin, a gold-backed coin, the first of its kind, which is definitely something I'm watching for. Then, first of all here, Stuart Alderorty came over to Twitter to say, It's easy to play amateur Twitter lawyer. Wait till you see the real pros in action. Michael Kellogg has argued, argued 14 cases in the Supreme Court, ex Liu v. SEC, and hundreds more in courts of appeals nationwide. Check out Andrew Suresny plus the rest of DNP's team as well. As Brett Gollinghouse said on Twitter, Ripple has spent eight years working tirelessly to build an incredible company transforming global payments. Our mission doesn't stop. Here's what I sent to employees yesterday, plus our lawyer's reaction to today's SEC filing, which really brought me to the idea of what must the people working for Ripple be thinking, right? What, what must they all be going through as, I mean, they're all involved with that. A lot of people quit their jobs working for banks to join Ripple, and a lot of lawyers and, and just legal advisors are there as well. I'm just thinking either they were all in on this, where they're like, okay, you know what, we're going to scam people, so... You know, you want to join or not, which I don't believe so. Or they've all looked at it and they're like, well, this looks good. Let me join. And that's the same attitude that they have right now where they're like, well, this looks solid. And as I said in the previous video, if you really start to compare the lawsuit here, it makes no sense to say Ripple is the only one doing it. So you're most likely going to see half of the crypto market here being purged for the distribution that they have. So better prepare your ass because if you really believe Ripple slash XRP is a kind of a security or a security offering, you bet your ass most of these cryptos are going to go down to the ground because they all have similar traits. Trust me when I say that, guys. You better prepare your nice little ass. Having said that, let's move further. Whiplash here posted, and it's actually retweeted by 6% Truth Seeker. Uh, that's how I found it. She sent it to me. Chairman of SEC Jay Clayton steps down today, new one incoming, seems the day of for chess moves being made 23rd. And it says right here, President Trump signs the HFCAA into law prompting SEC to change course. December 22nd, President Trump signs the HFCAA into law prompting SEC to change course on December 18th. Yada, yada, yada. Now, what exactly the article is about here, I cannot actually know because, uh, again, I'm, I don't have access to it. But if you guys know how this works, if you can just make an account and, you know, send me a screenshot, that would be amazing. Uh, we can maybe get some more info out of this. I don't know if it's big because nobody actually, you know, made an account to showcase it, which was interesting to me. So I didn't want to make an account. But maybe you guys are more tech savvy than I am. So check it out. Then Ripple wires $133 million to Jim McCaleb, XRP, by the way. Well, XRP tanks to $0.33. Cents. I was also thinking about this one, like... He, Jim McCallum, one of the founders, is still receiving money, but he's also one of the founders. So shouldn't he then be also in this whole security lawsuit then? Because, I mean, he's one of the founders, and even though he quit, he still has a ton of XRP that he's dumping on people. Isn't that then also the security that he's just selling to people then, since he's one of the founders, and that's kind of a fundamental part of the lawsuit? Jim McCallum received another gargantuan transaction for Ripple. Meanwhile, XRP keeps plunging on the news that the SEC lawsuit... Uh, and and has already dropped over 30%. It's still dumping, by the way. It's still falling down, 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 down. I saw a couple of guys buying at about 30 cents or so. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to say that you should be buying right now or should wait for it. I just cannot tell you guys the best thing as of this point. I don't know if we're going to fall down lower. I really do not know. All I know is I'm filling my bag, and if you're not doing that, you're most likely not supporting it long-term, and you should be careful with your money then. 
because you might have to get out of the coin altogether because it can down blow it. It can definitely do that. Then Coinbase files for IPO listing amidst scandal. Uh, I don't want to go too far into this as I do not know how YouTube likes us talking about that little thing, which, uh, you know, is underneath there. Crypto exchange Coinbase has filed with U.S. regulators to go public. The news comes less than a month after revelations of its reversed treatment to okay, just say that black employees came to light. So, uh, yeah, all right. Again, I'm not really supporting Coinbase for anything along that line. If they really are, you know, this. The thing is, though, when I looked at it back then. Wait, let's actually read this part here. The New York Times revealed that acts of racism, I'm just going to say, that led to black members of the staff of the company leaving, noting one by one they left, some quit, others were fired, all were black. According to 23 current and former Coinbase employees, five of whom spoke on the record, as well as internal documents and recordings of conversations, the startup has long struggled with this management of black employees, notes NYT. 15 people worked there, yada, 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 and I just don't know. All right, because I know some media outlets like to really take this out and um, make it a lot more apparent than it is. Uh, but on the contrary, I mean, we, we had a couple of remarks from Coinbase, which definitely does make it look like a very strange company in that sense. Again, what can we what can we get, though? We can't say, you know, stop using Coinbase because people will still use it anyway. And the only thing we can say is, man, what the fuck, Coinbase? What are you doing? What's going? What's up? Why? What's going on? <laughs> Why are we supporting that? That's the only thing I can say, maybe. Crypto.com lists Zillica sending price up 23%. Hong Kong-based crypto exchange Crypto.com listed Zillica today, pushing up its price. Okay, so I guess Crypto.com now also has this influence where if they decide to talk about something or, or list something, the price goes up. Well, that's pretty damn cool that they're already that big. By the way, if you're looking for some cool places to join, make sure you check out Webull. Link is down below. And talking about some strange things to invest money into, check out Unstoppable Domains, all right? I bought a couple of these to just set myself up for the future, possibly if this dot .crypto extension ever get ex accepted. Um, and to make you, or to show you what it looks like, for example, here, you can buy dot .crypto and dot .zill domains, right? This is what it looks like. You can buy those and hopefully eventually they get added right here. There's already a couple other cool things you can do, but let's just keep it for what it is for right now. Then, Ethereum developer Virgil Griffith will likely face trial next September. One thing you need to know is that a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot of people will be sued in the next 12 months. I'm going to say... 24 because a couple might not be discovered at that point but in the next 12 months a lot of guys will get sued and to a certain degree it means the the start of the end on the other end it means like the end of the start in phase where it's like it's the end of crypto because well crypto as we know it right now is not going to exist anymore it's going to be developed so far where regulatory clarity is going to be the standard on the contrary it's also kind of the the end i mean it's the start and the end right you guys see that it's the start of something new something bigger is the end of the old phase but also the end of crypto as we know it so it's basically both sides a lot of people are going to get sued a lot of these projects are going to be thrown out the window and eventually it's going to be very very hard to make some times 1000 returns trump stimulus shockers france reopens border dollar drops oil a touch firmer ahead of e i a report well, we're, we've been hearing some stuff about Trump trying to push this to $2,000 checks instead of 600 bucks, right? A lot of people have been talking about this right now, yet I can't really say what's going to happen in that regard. I mean, he is talking about it, but what's really going to happen, we don't know, as it's been a back and forth for so long. And again, I don't know what's the end result going to be, so I'm not going to quote on that too much as well. It's just important to know that they are talking about it, as a lot of people find this $600 to be laughable. Survey, almost one in five adult Australians owns crypto in 2020. The thing is, guys, um, first of all, by the way, I must say, I'm going to hold XRP and all my crypto, really, for that matter, until we're at zero, uh, rather than regretting it if we skyrocket. All right, I need to quickly say that because I, I don't know if I said it at the beginning of the video. I just want to quickly say that. Uh, and I, I also think right now there's such a small percentage of people that actually know about crypto and almost one in five people actually owning crypto is BS. It's definitely not so that 20% of the people own crypto. It's just they most likely surveyed in a manner where it looks like a lot of people uh, were actually holding crypto. But in general, if you were to ask the real population about how many own crypto, it's most likely closer to maybe like 3% or so of the general population.
uh, at least that's the way that I viewed it when I was asking most of my most of my people here. Just a very very small percent. Here they were asking 1,100 respondents across different demographics and saw 20 percent participants between the ages of 25 to 44 were most likely. Yada yada yada. Still, I think that's BS. I think that's a very skewed sample, and I do not think we should take that with too much consideration. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion as a data scientist. Sir Khan here said, update on the SEC situation. Three exchanges that nobody ever heard of have delisted XRP so far. Guys, this is such BS. Some have said, man, all these exchanges like Coinbase and Binance are going to be delisting XRP. Well, first of all, they'll not delist XRP until it's really classified as a security from which they'll delist it instantly because they'll not sell a security for any second. Uh, but also in... Yeah, I, I guess in um, in the bigger picture, Binance has been supporting them, SBI has been supporting them, Tron has been supporting them. There's so many bigger projects that are also supporting XRP in this move because if XRP goes down, oh, oh my days, guys. So many, so many are going to be taken down. And crypto, as I said before, will not be the way we know it. And this exchange is delisting it now, I think is also laughable. Uh, the volume, of course, is, is not important at all here because they had nothing. So who cares about that? But the idea that they're delisting them is, I think, just for, for good measure because they just don't want to have any trouble. But OSL Hong Kong doesn't follow SEC rules anyway. So this is all just BS. It's, it's not a, a big thing. It's not something to worry about. Coinbase may delist it eventually because they're a shit exchange and they go down anyway. And I just really dislike Coinbase as a whole. Um, but... Yeah, I don't think Binance will actually delist them, and I don't think that's going to be our biggest problem here. It's more so just the end result of the lawsuit and the people dumping it like crazy right now because they're afraid. Once more, I'm not really saying people shouldn't dump because if you think it's a bad thing, hey, go right on the head. But I'm just buying more because I think it's the future. But hey, everybody has their own thing. And again, I can't be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor. R3's 2021 predictions, digital currencies breaking into the mainstream. You got to understand, right? If we break into the mainstream, you'll most likely see so many regulations. You'll see so many lawsuits come up. you see so many questions being asked. This is just the start of something bigger, of a way bigger move of the SEC, of the government trying to enter into the crypto space, trying to regulate it. It's a good thing for crypto as a whole. People just don't view it that way. They're just like, oh, XP is going to be doomed because of all the naysayers everywhere. And I get that. I get that. I get that. I get that. But I'm not one of those. All right. I'm holding on through. I'm going down with my ship or to the moon or to the bottom of the freaking pit of the ocean. And I don't really care. I really don't care. I care about the money, of course. It's not like money doesn't, <laughs> it's not like money doesn't matter to me. It's about the idea that we're either going to go big or go home. Right? That's why we invest in crypto anyway. If I just win 20% of my money now, Okay, I mean, I have a nice day maybe, but I won't have a nice future, so to speak. So unless you are wanting to trade XRP for a different currency because you're just afraid, which I think is fair, because again, it is a scary thing and it may go down further. I'm not going to deny that. Yeah, maybe just crypto is not a thing for you. If you're already just <laughs> completely shivering in your boots right now, like, oh, my money is gone. <laughs> we knew this can happen. We knew this was coming. It's not a new thing. It's just people getting scared and whales mostly pushing the price back down to trigger more sales, to trigger more, more, more to make more money. That's most likely what's going on. Because if you look at the real facts, it's mostly people just being made afraid because the lawsuit was actually going on for a very long while. Maybe not the official SEC, but there were lawsuits against Ripple for selling unregistered securities. That's been going on for a very long while. So if only now you're selling because it got quote unquote official, you're actually a really big dumbass. It makes no sense. But again, if you did, Okay, you're going right ahead. All right, I'm holding through. Of course, I got my bag of crypto and I'm actually up a little bit, a little bit earlier today. I was up because Bitcoin was up. Uh, and again, if you have only XRP in your portfolio, it's never really a smart idea anyway. So I'm not going to recommend you to do that from now on forward. But yeah, we'll see guys. I think everything's still going to be good though. And I'm holding on. So don't worry about it. I actually bought more today already because we got some nice dips and I'm going to be doing that every single day as I said before. So that's my opinion on the situation.